Research Lasay. So in this video, we will discuss another topic which is part of your research paper and that is all about the definition of terms. So I hope that in this video, we are going to finish because at the end of the video, there is an example of how are you going to define the terms in your research paper. So um, in this video, hopefully you will take down notes and uh, try to uh, practice how to define terms in research. So we will start. So definition of terms is part of your chapter one, which is the introduction to the study. So we are defining the terms because we wanted to present the meaning of the, the key terms. The key terms used in the study because and not all readers, not all people, not all individual reading your articles, your research, uh, the product of your research is aware of the technical terms being used in your study. So we are defining here the terms, the key terms in your study. So not all terms are being defined here, only the key terms, the important terms. And usually those important terms are your independent and your dependent variables but apart from your independent and dependent variables you can, you can still add more if you wish to, to define them in your paper as long as uh, it's not common to them and it's a uh, you think that's a very technical term that needs to be clarified in your research so actually uh, we have two types of the definition of terms we have the conceptual definition and then the operational definition and as we progress in this video I will give you the definition of, of the terms and will give you of course an example so we will start with the conceptual definition so conceptual definition is defined as the common the common definition of the term that is based on a dictionary or a scientific book or other references so basically conceptual definition is the definition of term that comes from the dictionary it comes from the book so in that case meaning to say you will easily identify that the term you define or the definition you got from uh, the internet or the book is conceptual definition because it has an author it has a reference so that's that's a uh, one point that you need to consider to point out the conceptual definition from operational definition it is based the definition comes from a dictionary or books or other references and as long as it has its author and the date published so we have here so we have here um, an example for example you have here age so age is one variable for instance for example that you use in your study so the conceptual definition will be we have age refers to the length of an existence extending from the beginning to any given time this is according to Miriam Webster 2020 so this definition of age is a conceptual definition because uh, the definition is a common concept it is a common concept that that people uh, knew and this one, this definition of age, comes from Miriam Webster, which is a dictionary, or a Miriam dictionary with, with the date published or year published, which is 2020. So, in that instance, you will easily identify that this is a conceptual definition because it is, as, as I said earlier, it is based on, on dictionary or books, and it has its, its author in the year published. Okay? So, very easy. And another another type of definition is the operational definition so you have there the term operation operationalize on how you are going to use that in your study so we have here let us define operational definition so operational definition is the definition of the term based on the context of the study and it presents how the term is used in the study so meaning to say you are going to define uh, terms here based on how it is being used in your study and you will see later that uh, it is being contextualized 
When we say contextualize, meaning to say, you define the term based on how uh, your paper uh, used that term and it is not based on books or dictionary. So you will be the one to, to define that as long as it is within the content, the context of your research. So for you to better understand what's operational definition, let's have an example. So we have here, uh, earlier we have the conceptual definition of aid, so this time we have here the operational definition. So you have here the, the terms or phrase in this study. So meaning to say, so we have here uh, the phrase in this study. By, by reading such phrase, you will now easily identify that that is an operational definition. So that one technique or indicator or one point that you need to, to learn or to know here that once you encounter this phrase in this study, meaning that's already the operational definition because this term will be defined based on this study. And we continue. So in this study, age refers to the total number of years of existence of the parents of the grade 12 students categorized as to below 30 years old, 30 to 39 years old, 40 to 49 years old, 50 to 59 years old, and 60 years old and above. So if you are going to analyze the operational definition of age here, so it is contextualized in a, uh, in, in a certain study because uh, you have indicated here that age age of the parents is the focus and in the definition you included there the grade 12 students which are your respondents in your study and usually in an operational definition it is usually categorized so at the end or at the last part of the operational definition of a certain term in your study you need to uh, categorize that for example we have your age is categorized as to 30 to 39 years old 40 to 49 50 to 59 and 60 years old and above by making this uh, one your research becomes clearer and easy to understand so meaning in the context of your study you are only studying the age of the parents of the the great of students who are below 30 years old up to 60 years old and above okay so usually the definition of terms when you put that in your paper it should be arranged alphabetically or it should be in an alphabetical order so we have here another example so that you will be guided more on how to, to define terms okay in your study so we have here the study is about the readiness of grade of students on home-based work immersion okay so uh, this this will be the the way wherein you're going to present your your definition of terms so you have to first the introductory paragraph so you can you can use this for clarity and better understanding of this study the following terms are hereby defined so we have here the term that we are going to to define here is readiness and readiness is a dependent variable because you are going to uh, this will be the one that you're going to measure in your study so the order in defining the the terms we first the conceptual definition and that it will be followed by the operational definition however there are schools or or, or educational institutions where they do not anymore uh, include the conceptual definition they only use the they only use the operational definition but since you are beginners so it's it's good if, if we will use only we will use uh, these types of definition so that you will become familiar okay so we have here so readiness refers to a state of preparation according to Miriam Webster 2021 so in this case this is a conceptual definition of the term readiness because it is based on the dictionary Miriam Webster in you have the date of publication and it will be followed by it will be followed by the operational definition so we have here the operational definition of readiness so in this study readiness is defined as the extent of preparation of the grade 12 students so you have here your respondents grade 12 students who will undergo home-based work immersion 
And how are you going to measure the readiness? So, you have to include here the research instrument. So, specify that. So, that will, that will be measured using a questionnaire or using a readiness questionnaire techniques. And readiness will be categorized as very ready, ready, somewhat ready, or not ready. So, meaning, your readiness will be categorized into four. Very ready, ready, somewhat ready, or not ready, depending on the result of your survey, um, uh, especially when you use the readiness questionnaire checklist. So, this one is an operational definition because, as I said earlier, when you encounter the, the phrase in this study, that, that would refer to the contextualization of the, the, the terms. And you have there, you have to mention there the, the respondents. And then you have to mention also the research instrument that will be used to measure to measure your dependent variable and then you have to categorize that. But in the case of independent variables, so uh, sometimes there are variables that, that uh, uh, there's no need for, for um, uh, research instruments. So usually we only use the research instruments as a measuring tool or uh, a data collection tool when we are dealing with the, the dependent part. So that's all about the definition of terms. I hope that you learned. It's very simple and easy. So if you have questions or queries, just comment down for uh, me to be able to respond to your, to your questions. So that's all for now. Thank you.